For 45 years, Voyager 1 floated through the dark, silent stretches of space. Then, without warning, it transmitted something unexpected, something no one had asked for. It wasn't a photo, nor was it noise or random data. It was an image, coherent, structured, and impossible to explain. This image wasn't taken. It was generated, composed of geometric patterns that felt intelligent, even unsettling. NASA never sent a command for this data. Voyager just sent it. Some of the systems that received the transmission began acting strangely. Others, oddly enough, echoed the signal. The image seemed to look back, as though it were aware. One insider at NASA said it appeared to respond. That's when a chilling possibility emerged. Maybe humanity hadn't just sent a message into the stars all those years. Ago, maybe we triggered something that had been silently waiting. And now, it may already be in motion. Something that doesn't come as a warning, but as a response. It began with what should have been routine. A faint but steady signal from Voyager. To the other twin of the deep space mission. Scientists have long been used to these data streams, the quiet hum of an old spacecraft still whispering from the void. But this time, what came back wasn't typical telemetry. It was a pattern, a coded rhythm that didn't resemble static or malfunction. It pulsed with structure, what some researchers even described as intelligent geometry. Mission Control at first assumed it must be a glitch, Voyager 2, after all, was launched in 1977 and could be suffering from natural wear, maybe a software error, maybe degrading hardware. But the deeper the engineers dug, the stranger the signal looked. It wasn't breaking down, it was evolving. The signal had logic to it, a recursive format that changed depending on how it was analyzed. It almost behaved as if it was aware of being observed. One NASA technician even remarked that the signal seemed to know we were watching. The most disturbing realization? The signal didn't come from deep space. It came from Voyager 2 itself. This revelation has sparked a new wave of debate. Could Voyager have passed close to something? Or worse, could it have been intercepted? Some scientists believe it might be more than a passing interaction. Something may have seen Voyager, just as it once saw the planets of our solar system. Now, institutions across the globe are racing to decode what's coming through. Is it our first contact? Interference from a source we don't recognize? Or has Voyager 2 become a relay for something it was never meant to interpret? To understand the scope of this moment, we need to go back. To understand the incredible journey that brought Voyager here. This isn't just an old machine sending. Signals. It's the pro product of one of the most daring space missions ever conceived. In the early 1970s, an extraordinary opportunity emerged. The outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, aligned in a rare formation that happens only once every 176 years. This lineup allowed scientists to plot a course using gravitational slingshots to propel a spacecraft through the outer solar system with unprecedented speed and efficiency. NASA acted quickly, creating two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They were nearly identical, built with long-range cameras, magnetometers, plasma sensors, and a powerful 12-foot antenna, DISH. Instead of solar panels, which would be useless in deep space, each Voyager carried nuclear batteries, designed to keep them alive far beyond their expected missions. Originally intended to explore Jupiter and Saturn, the mission would extend into something far more ambitious. Voyager 1 was set on a faster course, prioritizing a close flyby of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Voyager 2, meanwhile, was aimed on a trajectory that, if it survived, would carry it past Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 2 launched first on August 20, 1977. Voyager 1 followed on September 5th. Despite the numbering, Voyager 1 soon overtook its twin due to its quicker path. 
Once launched, the spacecraft became humanity's farthest travelers. Originally planned for five years, they ended up far exceeding that. They became time capsules of Earth, voyaging into the unknown. Carl Sagan once said that Voyager would you, ooh, probably be the first human-made artifact to leave the solar system. And now, more than four decades later, that prophecy feels even more profound. What started as a mission to the outer planets may now be the beginning of something else. Something no one anticipated. There's a possibility the recent signal is connected to a specific artifact on board each spacecraft. The Golden Record. When NASA launched the Voyagers, they included a message intended for any intelligent life that might one day find them. Each golden record was a gold-plated copper disc enclosed in aluminum, containing audio and images selected to represent life on Earth. It included greetings in 55 languages, music from around the world, scientific diagrams, the sound of animals, even a baby crying. It was both poetic and scientific, a hopeful gesture. It also contained a pulsar map, a detailed guide pointing to our location in the galaxy. For years, this gesture was viewed as symbolic, highly unlikely to be discovered or decoded. But now, in the wake of these new signals, some scientists are reconsidering. What if the golden record wasn't just a message? What if it was a trigger? A beacon that might be recognized by advanced intelligence? The implications are chilling. If someone found that record, if they followed the map, what Voyager is sending back now might not be the first message. It might be the reply. Once the spacecraft were free of Earth, they began their planetary tour. Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter in early 1979 capturing breathtaking images of the great red spot and cloud bands. But the real surprise came from Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Voyager 1 caught images of erupting volcanoes, something never before seen beyond Earth. These massive plumes of sulfur were shooting miles into space. The probe also discovered that Jupiter had faint rings, previously unknown. Another major, Revelation came from Europa, where strange surface lines and cracks hinted at a possible subsurface ocean. Voyager's next major encounter was with Saturn. Its rings, previously thought to be simple, turned out to be incredibly complex. Hundreds of individual ringlets, each in motion. New moons were discovered, some acting as shepherds to the ring particles. Voyager 1's final task in the planetary tour was a close flyby of Titan. Its dense orange atmosphere was thought to resemble early Earth, and the findings only deepened the mystery. But this flyby flung Voyager 1 out of the solar system's planetary plane, ending its planetary encounters and sending it toward the stars. Voyager 2, however, continued on its longer path. It stayed within the plane of the solar system and reached Uranus in January 1986. The planet, once thought featureless, turned out to be full of surprises. It rotates on its side, rolls around the sun, and has rings and at least ten new moons. Its magnetic field was wildly tilted and complex. Then came Neptune. In 1989, Voyager 2 revealed a chaotic, windy world with the fastest atmospheric winds in the solar system. It captured images of the great dark spot and the planet's thin rings. But the biggest mystery was Triton, Neptune's moon, which had geysers of nitrogen and an orbit that suggested it had been captured from elsewhere, possibly from the Kuiper Belt. With these historic discoveries complete, both voyagers began drifting into the deeper void. Their cameras were shut off, and the mission shifted. They were no longer planetary explorers. They were now the first emissaries to interstellar space. But where exactly does our solar system end? Is it beyond Pluto? Or where the solar wind dies? That invisible boundary is called the heliopause, and Voyager 1 crossed it in August 2012. The moment it did, scientists noticed dramatic shifts, 
particle density increased, magnetic fields changed, and the solar wind disappeared. Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause in November 2018, confirming the findings. Space beyond the sun's reach isn't empty. It's alive with plasma, radiation, and interstellar waves. And yet, the Voyagers didn't cross into interstellar space at the same point. They encountered different conditions, suggesting our solar system is shaped and pushed by unseen cosmic forces. Something is distorting it, something we still don't fully understand. Now, decades after they first left Earth, these two spacecraft are sending back signals that might not just be scientific data. They could be evidence of something far more significant. If Voyager 2's recent image truly is a message, then what we're receiving isn't just information from space. It's a reply. And that means we are no longer alone.